Next question from Mike Garcia. Thank you. Transportation's lost. Yes, no, and regardless of your answer, why? Mr. Huffstetter. The T's lost, while I support consumption type taxes, I think is flawed, and I don't think it will hold up constitutionally. The, the stick that was talked about here of if you're not uh, in it, then you have to have a 30% match. If you're in it, you have to have a 10% match. I don't think agrees with the Georgia Constitution that says the money will be equally distributed among the congressional districts. So while I love sales tax, and I think it's the most fair tax to do, I don't think this one will hold up. I do think we can get the 411 connector without it. I think the funds can be found. We've done it at the county level. We've found funds to do projects. Uh, we found money to do road projects without any state or federal money, and the money is there. What we've got right now at the, at the uh, state DOT is there's been so much money borrowed that right now, 900 and something million dollars in, in motor fuels, you're paying 200 million of it for debt payments. Um, that would, one year alone, debt payments would more than pay the cost of this 411 connector. We've got to get the state budget under control. We've got to get projects meeting budget, eliminate cost overruns, and we'll find the funds there just like we did at the county. Thank you. Do you support passage of the t Blast tax? I'm going to open this one. Whoever wants to go first on this one. I um, like sales taxes, and I think they've been used to a lot of advantages. I don't support this particular one. It creates a huge bureaucracy in the state of Georgia to manage it. Um, I think it's unconstitutional with the penalties that were put in, and that's the biggest problem I have with it. You know, I hate somebody that says, vote for this or else, and threatens you, and that's what's happened in this. You have a 10% match if you pass it. You have a 30% match if you don't pass it of state funds. Uh, I don't agree with, with that approach, uh, using a stick and threatening somebody to get them to vote for something. I don't um, think that that's going to pass constitutional muster, and I've had some, some excellent people in that area that don't think it, it will. Um, I don't think it's going to pass anyway, and I certainly don't want to depend on the courts to make the decision after we've seen the Obamacare ruling of, of recently. We cannot depend on the courts, courts for that decision. Um, we have opportunities to get funding in other ways. We. Um, I've just had a transportation bill passed by uh, the U.S. Uh, Senate and the House that will provide uh, funds. I don't know that I agree with that one, but uh, we'll certainly use that $2 billion to our benefit. And then we'll go back and we'll restructure a sales tax law that cuts property taxes or more likely income taxes and rewards people, not threatens them. Thank you.